Hello friends and welcome back. One of the most sought after guitars for the last couple of years when all guitars were a little bit hard to get were the Epiphone Prophecy series and we finally are getting in some of the Exturas. And I was, well, Extura, 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 Extura. I'm not sure. I'm going to just go with what comes out naturally. Um, I really, really like this. I was really impressed with the Prophecy SG that we got in, in not only in its build quality and playability and tone, but the Fishman Fluence pickups just blew me away. Uh, I'm going to put a link here, so if you'd like to check out the video that I did on the Prophecy SG to learn more about the Fluence pickups and the way they voice them for this run of guitars, because I'm not going to go into that that deep on this one. I'm going to focus on this gorgeous guitar right now. First of all, the shape of it. It's kind of a combination of the Gibson Explorer and the Futura that was put out for a brief period. And all I can say is I really like it. I like the odd shaped guitars. I am, you know, I'm, I kind of am stuck in the 80s. Uh, but an Explorer was one of the most uncomfortable guitars I've ever played. Whether it's sitting down, standing up, I felt like I was carrying a four by eight sheet of plywood around with me. The body was just massive. The slimmer waist on this and the longer angles not only make it so comfortable to play sitting down, standing up, anything, it's just a really nice way to go with the Explorer angled styled body. Good job Epiphone on this body style. I love this. Um, as you can see just you can grab it anywhere. It's just it's just handy. You know it's one of those handy things and it looks cool too. But okay let's get into it. What do we have here? First of all the body as you would expect mahogany body mahogany neck on here. Gorgeous flame maple veneer that they put on top of here. It's just really a stellar looking guitar. Of course the um, Loctone Tunematic and Stop Bar Tail piece on here. We have 24 frets on an ebony fretboard. Beautifully finished, fret ends well done, and this ebony board is just, it's sweet to play on. Up at the top, we've got Grover Locking Rotomatics, great tuners on here. I mean, when you just look at the basic build quality of this, and some of the things that you would have to put on as upgrades if you bought a guitar that looked kind of like this from a very close real closely related brand. This is an incredible value. I mean Epiphone continues to blow me away with their value. Um, we got a Graftech new bone nut up at the top here. When I was tuning it up I just really liked the feel I didn't hear. One ping out of it. Um, the Grovers are great. They hold tune as you would expect from Grover Locking Rotomatics. But let's get into the tone of this. Oh, oh, a couple other things before we do that. Another thing that I really like about the Prophecy series is what they did with their neck carve. Now, it's a slim taper, so basically think, you know, you're you're in the vicinity of 60s Gibson solid body necks but it has an asymmetrical neck carve, which means that the point of the curve in the back of the neck is slightly offset, so it's a little bit meatier on the low side where your thumb is. It fits so nicely, and generally you only will find the asymmetrical neck carves on the top tier of a lot of brands, and now, I mean this is we're getting it close to Epiphone's top tier here as well. But again, when you look at the price point and look at the value, 
there's no way to picture this. You just have to put your hand on this. This is one of the best feeling Gibson style necks you will ever play. I just absolutely love it. Okay, now into the Fishman pickups on here. Uh, you heard a little bit of it through my pedal board in the beginning, but uh, let me just go through a few things clean. We've got three voices in this guitar, so it's going to take me a little bit to go through all these. First of all, just our standard voicing with both of the controls pushed in. What they uh, call this is their modern humbucker sound, and it's a very nice modern sound. That's just gorgeous. That's through the supposedly clean channel on my Mesa Fillmore. Got a little bit of grit to it just with this, but tone control here. Lift that up and they have what they call the vintage PAF voicing. Difference. Two really nice sounds that I absolutely love. The, the vintage PAF voicing. I love that. Okay, now one more voicing still left. And it is nice that you can leave this back tone control either up or down. When you pull up the volume control, you automatically go into the third voicing. It doesn't matter what position this is. So it's easy to switch. You don't have to do a push and then a pull or the reverse or anything. But this third voicing, I don't know what to call it, but I like it. They call it an overwound single coil sound. Now, it's definitely not in the range of an overwound Strat style single coil. And it's much cleaner and open, especially on the highs, than a P90. I don't know what what I would compare it to, but I really like it. When I put a little bit of grit on this, you'll see what it can do for you. But really nice. Those are the three voices in the bridge pickup. Now let's go up to the neck. We'll start with both controls pushed in. Their modern voiced PAF. Now, the vintage PAF with tone control pulled out. Just ring and chime that. I absolutely love their vintage PAF voicing on both of these. Same thing that I felt with the SG. Now, we'll pull up the volume control and get what they call the overwound single coil sound. 
I don't know what I'll call it, but see what you think. Very nice. Got to go back to this one though. Uh, I'm not going to play it, but that's what it puts me in mind of. This. Okay, that's, that's my sound here. I love that. Again, a great, great value. Uh, one note, the Fishman pickups are active. We'll need a 9-volt battery for these. Uh, but, again, I'll refer to my SG uh, Prophecy video. These are not what you think active pickups are. If you're like me, if you're, you know, doing boomer bands and you're into dad rock and all that stuff and you haven't looked at active pickups since EMGs first came out, you owe it to yourself to check these out. They are totally noiseless. Um, the way, the influence of the tone control is much different too. They don't compress, they're open, they're just incredible sounding pickups. I'm going to end up with some of these in my guitar. But just, I'm going to show you the tone control. The interaction with the tone control is much different than you, you know, typically expect in a passive guitar. And it's truly a tonal change, and it's not even just a simple roll-off filter. The volume of the total output never seems to change, doesn't seem to get lower like they do on a passive system. I'm going to go to the bridge, just try that out as well. Full up tone. And this is on the uh, vintage PAF setting that I like so much. And then we'll start rolling it down. Just more usable voicings, again, do that on a typical passive PAF style bridge pickup. You roll it down and you're just rolling around in the mud. This is killer. The Epiphone Prophecy Extura, or Extura, I'm not sure. Either way, it plays great, it sounds great, and it is priced Right. This is another incredible value from Epiphone. If you got any questions about this guitar, any guitar, amp, pedal, please give us a call here at More Guitars or chat with us online. The sales staff here are the most knowledgeable in the business. You won't find anybody with more expertise and knowledge on the brands they sell, and it's their mission to guide you into the perfect tone, the perfect instrument, the perfect amp, the perfect pedal for your needs. They love helping musicians out because they're all musicians themselves. So give them a call, chat online, or come visit us at More Music in Evansville, Indiana. We would love to get to see you in person and put this Epiphone Prophecy Extura into your hands so you can feel this asymmetrical neck carve. It's so great. Thanks a lot, y'all. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.